I know, it's been a while since I've given you guys a 75 hard update, but there's good reason for that. As many of you guys know, I went to the, uh, me, Emily, and the baby went to the Homesteaders United Jamboree, uh, was it two weeks ago now? Um, it was an absolutely fantastic festival, met an, a bunch of awesome people. Also, check this out. There's a new group of people making stickers out right now. It's called the Homestead Twins. Uh, I'll leave them linked down below, but reach out to them for this awesome new sticker. Oh, got wasp spray falling out the truck. Um, this awesome new sticker, look at this. Look at that one. The one with the wood chipper. Yeah. <laughs> pedophile rehab uh, facility yeah they make some awesome awesome stickers so check them out if you need any awesome stickers made as well um and i think they have some in stock as well but i'll leave them linked down below awesome people homesteading twins they're doing some really really cool stuff on youtube they also have a youtube channel um but yeah they're, they're just cool people um also want to give a shout out to bill zegley He's one of the most selfless people that I know. Constantly at the festival, he's always asking like ways he can help, what he can do to like make things go smoother and stuff like that. Um, but he also dropped everything to go help out a friend in need. He paid for a ticket, he came to the festival, he wanted to learn what was at the festival, but he dropped all of it to go help out a friend that a lot of us know, and I don't wanna air out anybody's business or anything like that, but, um, yeah, he, he did a very, very selfless thing. And yeah, I, I just really, really appreciate that man. So shout out to Bill, Bill Zegley. I like to call him William because we share the same name. But yeah, shout out to Bill Zegley. You're an awesome man. And uh, a lot of us don't deserve having you as a friend. I just want to say that. Um, but also, so, okay, so getting into why the delay on this 75 hard. The... So we did the festival. A lot of you guys saw that 75 hard update. Um, and I had a list of consultations to do the following week. Got those knocked out, met some awesome people. I know the consultations are supposed to be beneficial for the people getting the consultation, um, which they are, hopefully they are beneficial, but they're also highly beneficial to me in just making and building this community. Like I just get to meet some very awesome people all over the United States, hopefully soon all over the world, and um, yeah, I just feel blessed to be part of this homesteading slash farming slash preparedness community. And very rarely do you meet some nincompoops. It's possible, but very rarely do you meet nincompoops. And thankfully on this trip, everybody I met was just absolutely wonderful and absolutely awesome. So that, believe it or not, the homesteading and the consultations out of town and all that stuff, that wasn't really much of a stumbling block when it came to this 75 hard. The, so let's just say uh, Sunday, this past Sunday, um, we got back into town. And then Monday, we had already scheduled to go through basically a deliverance meeting uh, with these uh, deliverance pastors. And if you need deliverance, or if you know somebody who needs deliverance, email me at the permaculture consultant at gmail.com and I will put you in contact with these deliverance uh, ministers. Um, I found out about them through my friend Tony Merkel at the confessionals. He did an episode with a lady named uh, Stephanie and she um, gives her testimony, gives her story and all that stuff and uh, has basically joined up with this uh, deliverance ministry and they, they're just again fantastic and selfless people i mean they didn't charge a single dime um and i don't even know that they have a way to receive donations it's literally three people um stephanie marvin and uh, melissa um three selfless people that gave three and a half hours of their time to help me my wife and my baby out um now you're probably wondering like oh i'm a christian i don't need to go through deliverance or anything um there are still uh okay Think of it this way, and me and my wife were actually discussing this earlier. Like, there are things, this is why you shouldn't consult your own property. Like, um, like you're always told to get like a second set of eyes on your property to, because you're just gonna overlook things. You get used to certain things on your property, you get used to certain problems that you deal with and stuff like that, and you just overlook it, where if you get a new fresh set of eyes to look at your property, they can come up with solutions, new designs, new tactics, new, new ways to, um, to basically work on the property. The same thing applies, I think, 
with this uh, deliverance ministry. There's certain things you just kind of get used to. Like for my my example, chronic back pain. Uh, that's and then also like spiritual attacks. Like, well, the chronic back pain thing is just something you finally get used to dealing with. Like, uh, there's this one particular spot, like right up against my shoulder blade. Um, that if I am sitting in a certain position for too long, it's just, it feels like somebody is just ripping the muscle off my ribs, um, off the back of my ribs up next to my spine. Well, that is completely gone. And that was just something that I kind of just got used to, kind of just managed and dealt with. That is completely gone. The chronic, okay, whenever I do bench press for my indoor workout, the, uh, my shoulder clicks whenever I'm doing bench press, that's completely gone. I had a uh, chronic knee pain, which I was showing you guys the, um, the knees over toes thing. Well, I stopped doing the knees over toes squats for a while and, uh, the knee pain started coming back. That is completely gone now. Um, also to be hundred percent honest, I was harboring, uh, quite a bit of anger and you don't really understand or notice how much anger you're actually holding on to, um, until it's gone. And then you, you like rediscover peace. But anyway, that's, uh, not really where I'm trying to go with this, but the point is, is that we went through deliverance and afterwards. So one of the things that was delivered that we were delivered from was, um, a spirit named murderous intent, which gave me pause. Cause I was like, I don't know that I've ever had murderous intent for anybody. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever been, you know, wronged so badly by somebody where I felt like there was a need for murderous intent. So fast forward to the next day, we got some, pretty credible death threats. Literally the very next day, we got some pretty credible death threats um, to the point where we left our home uh, and we went somewhere private, not going to disclose it so people know. Um, but yeah, we went somewhere private and uh, we just kind of waited to see, called the cops, filed reports, all that type of stuff. Um, and it, it's, uh, yeah, I don't want to go into too much detail, but yeah, there was that literally the very next day that's where the murderous t intent thing came up. I, be I believe, I think that's where that kind of came from. Um, yeah, there's a drunk idiot saying he's going to go get his guns and shoot me in my own home. So there's that, um, that's being handled and it is mostly, I, I pray mostly handled at this point. I hope he finds Jesus and I hope, um, yeah, I hope he, I hope he turns his life around because I know that, uh, what is, oppressing or possessing him right now is an absolute utter torment. So that happens. That's Tuesday. Deliverance was Monday. Got back Sunday. Deliverance was Monday. Uh, death threat Tuesday. I'm still doing my 75 hard, by the way, still doing the workouts and all that type of stuff. And then Wednesday, um, I'm on the way out to the gym for my indoor workout. And then Emily calls me frantic, which, you know, has me like, you know, on my toes because of what just happened Tuesday, um, calls me frantic and is like, Hey, uh, the faucet just blew off the bathroom wall. Basically like the little cold water knob that connects into the bathtub that, you know, controls the cold water for no reason. Really. It just blew off the bathtub wall. Uh, as I was taking it apart or taking what was left apart and, um, putting everything kind of back together, I was checking and inspecting the pieces and there was no there was no reason it should have blown off the wall. Like the threads were good. The stem was good. Um, there's parts that I honestly don't know the name of cause I'm not a plumber and I have very limited, very, very limited plumbing experience. Um, yeah. So it, like, and I was, as I was checking everything, everything was like fine. No, nothing was stripped. Nothing was bad. Nothing was rotten. Nothing was leaking or anything like that. So that seemed very, very bizarre. And it took me quite a while to kind of put it all back together because I just don't know what I'm doing. And I'm having to YouTube my way through this video or YouTube my way, uh, through this plumbing, just to figure out how to put and assemble everything back together. Um, so there was that, that was Tuesday. And then Wednesday I'm at Walmart and I'm getting some, uh, some bookshelves and a like eight cube storage thing for the office. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about, um, what's it called? Like the soil, uh, tests and stuff like that. I am working on it. Believe me, I am trying to work on it. There's just a lot of things going on all at once. Um, but it's going to be happening here very, very soon, as well as the PDC that I've been talking about. That's going to be happening as well. Very, very soon. 
believe me guys, I'm doing my absolute best. I'm trying to get things knocked out. Um, so I'm at Walmart and I'm in the like furniture aisle, like the, you know, assemble yourself furniture aisle of uh, Walmart. And then all of a sudden I get this shock down my spine and it's like, um, and it's like my head is turned for me towards the main aisle. I'm down one of the side aisles and I'm looking at the main aisle and it's this big dude who's looking down at me, not, not looking down at me, but he like lowers his head and I can, he's just laughing and he sounds, his laugh sounds like a monkey. And it just seemed very, very bizarre. His wife was right behind him and she seemed completely oblivious to any of this. Um, he like lowered his head. Like as soon as I turn, I can then hear his, his laugh. It was like he was there for a minute. Like I knew somebody was over there through, just through my peripheral vision. Uh, I knew somebody was over there and he was over there for like a minute, but I, I couldn't acknowledge him until like there was that shock down my spine. And then all of a sudden my head just whipped over to the side and I see him there and he's just looking at me and he's laughing and it doesn't make any sense. And his laugh sounds like a monkey. It, there's some obvious jokes here. There's some details I left out because people are going to call me racist, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it just is, it, it just seemed odd to me. And then almost instantly I felt like a strep throat symptoms. Like my throat was, it was painful when I would swallow. Um, and then it went away a little bit and then I was like checking out and then it came back and then it went away for a little bit and then I got back to the truck and then that's when it was like on like full blown like strep throat in my, you know, it was painful when I would swallow and then I rebuked it and it immediately went away. So I, I don't know. There's been a few theories as far as what's uh, going on there. Like maybe I was viewing the spiritual realm. Um, his wife that was right behind him seemed completely oblivious to her husband laughing and staring at me. Uh, she seemed completely oblivious to me as well. She was like doing her own thing, but like also trying to push him along a little bit to like, you know, continue shopping and stuff. Oh, that's the pigs. Um, so yeah, that, that's what's been going on. And now, um, and that was Thursday, right? Yeah. So Monday was the deliverance. Tuesday was the death threat. Wednesday, was a bathroom faucet flying off the wall. And then Thursday was a, I believe, probably a, uh, an attack from a warlock. I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, and today is Friday, which is the day that you guys are getting the update. Today is day 47, and I have not missed any part of my workouts or any part of 75 hard. Still got the reading done, still got the gallon done, all that type of stuff. And at this point, I'm feeling like what I think is going on with these attacks, I think the enemy is trying to, is trying to get me to give up and it's not happening. It, it's not happening. I, I think that's what the whole goal is, is to pull me away from Jesus and, and is trying to give me, get me to give up or something. And that, that's absolutely not going to happen. And I feel like at this point that this is the most critical time to continue doing the 75 hard is when everything is kind of just not falling apart, but everything is being directed at me. And one other thing that was uh, rebuked during the deliverance was, um, and I think it's part of me being on this public platform is, uh, there have been, um, attacks from specific people via astral projection. Now, if you don't know what that is, um, is it's, I'm not even entirely sure. It's basically like you, you project your spirit into the spirit well, world and then you start traveling through there and you can affect a lot of physical things via the spirit world. And I know for a lot of people who don't have never heard of this or looked into this or believe in any of this, it seems pretty doggone crazy to you, but I'm telling you guys, it's, it's real. It's legit. Um, yeah, if you don't believe me, look at just some of the other testimonies talking about astral projection and stuff like that. But that was one thing that was rebuked uh, was an attack via astral projection. Um, but yeah, that's my 75 hour update. Today is day 47. I'm still going strong. I hope you guys are as well. Um, <laughs> and let me know how it's going for you guys. Um, and also let me know if there's anything we can pray for for you guys. Uh, I know other people, I know we're not the only ones going through like spiritual attacks. Um, I know that there's a lot of people going through spiritual attacks. So if there's something I can pray for you about, then leave it down in the comments or even email me about it if you want to keep it private. And I promise you, I will pray for you. I promise you. 
Um, so let me know how it's going down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.